Allow me to expose my colon once again. The ramification inflicted on the incision placed within the fallopian cavities serves to be holistic, taken from the Latin word jalapeno. <laughs> well there you go welcome back guys welcome back so check it we have about five more days until the election cycle is over and what a year this has been especially for mr trump he had already three iconic photos this year the first one was in butler pennsylvania the second one is him serving fries. And just recently, thanks to Mr. Biden calling the MAGA folks garbage, we have another iconic photo right here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Trump, he is a master of making lemons into lemonade. Every time that the Democrats try to come for him, he stands firm and turns it around on him. Now, the last example with this garbage statement by Biden. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of seen as unconscionable and it's un-American. He goes out on stage with an orange vest suit and he's proud of it. And he tells a story about how he almost busts his ass. And then they said... Sir, we have a vest. I said, well, should I leave my suit on and put it over the vest? But that doesn't look very good, right? That doesn't look good. So I said, all right, look, let me take it off. And then I actually said, I climbed into the truck. But here's the, so I said, how the hell do you get into this truck? It's way up high. It's a big one. <laughs> this was a beauty. I said, you didn't have to buy it that big, right? You have to get it that big. They brought this brand new, gorgeous truck, wonderful driver. He looked like uh, Cary Grant in his prime. You know who that is? <laughs> this beautiful driver. And he drove that big thing up. And I said, man, this is bad, because now I have all the cameras are all watching. Look, look at all the fake news. They were most of them. <laughs> now, most of them. Many of them were there, and I'm saying, oh, boy. You know, one little mistake with these guys, and you, your political career is over. You can't even. So I said, man, if I don't get up there, this is going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> these stupid people, they'll say, he's cognitively and physically impaired. <laughs> and I can't do that when I'm alongside of this great athlete. I got to get up to that. So... So look, so the stair, the first stair is like up here. I'm saying, shit. <laughs> so, so I had the adrenaline going and I made it. Now, you guys see the clip. He almost busts his ass and that would have been horrible. But he kept his composure and he lived to tell about it. And then I got in the car and I'm driving over here and I have this still on and I come into the arena and I say, where's my jacket? I want to get out of this thing. <laughs> and they said, it would be unbelievable if you could wear it on stage. I said, I said, no way. I got 25,000 people standing outside. I got all these people here. There's no way I'm wearing it on stage. They said, oh, okay, sir. I said, get me my jacket. But if you did, you know, it actually makes you look thinner. I said, oh. and they got me. I said, I want to wear it on stage. When they said I look thinner, I said, in that case, I'll wear now, the Democrats, again, have failed by using the Puerto Rico statement against Trump. 
So now they're using another statement. Now they're trying to move as fast as they can to the next topic. And now we're talking about protecting women. We think it's very inappropriate for you to say, so why? I'm president. I want to protect the women of our country. They said. They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money. Can you believe it? I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to protect them from migrants coming in. I'm going to protect them from foreign countries that want to hit, a, hit us with missiles and lots of other things. Former, former President Donald Trump um, has said that he would be a protector of women, um, whether they like it or not. What do you make of that? And how does that contrast with your views on women and their rights and needs? Well, I'll just speak on behalf of myself, but also the Americans that I speak with every day around our country, regardless of their gender, which is the majority of Americans believe that women are intelligent enough and should have and be respected for their agency to make decisions for themselves about what is in their best interest and not have their government and certainly not Donald Trump telling them what to do. You see this now they're saying that protecting women is a bad thing. We begin with a stunning new statement from Donald Trump out on the campaign trail last night when the former president said he would be the protector of women, quote, whether the women like it or not. The comments could backfire for Trump, who has faced decades of allegations of abuse from multiple women. And of course, it was the former president who placed three justices on the Supreme Court, which overturned Roe versus Wade, sending the question of abortion rights back to the states. Now, while the media is trying to dissect Trump's statement about women and try to protect women, Kamala's top surrogate, Mark Cuban, he gets on and says this about women. Yeah, I mean, yes, it'll put her over the edge with Nikki Haley supporters. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. It's just that simple. They're intimidating to him. He doesn't, he doesn't like to, to be challenged by them. Now, anybody going to check him? No, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Kamala have an endorsement from Eminem, uh, which I like to call Feminem, and she's married to Dougie. Dougie likes to slap women around. So, yeah, it's not far-fetched. Nobody cares what Mark Cuban says about smart women. But, no, let's get into Trump. Let's see what Trump said. Uh, I will comment on um, the former president, Donald Trump's uh remark about women and um, and whether they like it or not. And listen, it's just, it actually is, I think, very offensive to women in terms of not understanding their agency, their authority, their right, and their ability to make decisions about their own lives, including their own bodies. So all the D.L. Hughley's, Steve Harvey's, talk about we need to protect the sister. No, we don't. She don't need our protection. Trump, an alpha male, is saying that whether you like it or not, I'm going to help you. She don't need our help. And she's telling all the other women out there, all the sugar babies out there, all the single moms out there that don't take no help from no man. Fine and dandy with me. Trust me. If I see a natural woman having an altercation, a fight with a trans woman fighting out in the street, I'm not getting involved. I'm not helping none of them. I don't care. I'm going to pull out my phone and we'll start it. And I'm trying to tell you all you guys out there, all you young men out there, do not help them. They're strong and independent. They can make decisions. They're grown human beings. Let them figure it out. If they have a flat tire, let them change the flat tire. If you're walking and there's a door and they got books in their hands, let them open the door on their own. I don't care. Only person you're supposed to protect is your family members, your female family members, your sisters, your daughters, your wife. Everybody else are strangers. You're not supposed to help strangers out like that. And she's here, she's out here to reconfirm the statement. Do not help these women out. Let them figure it out. 
If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time.